Do you allow me? Rant do you up. allow me to go on a rant? Yeah. Buckle up, yeah. boys. All right. Let me loosen up here. It's been a while since I've gone on one, so here we go. The Disc Golf Pro Tour might have made one of the grandest mistakes in the history of disc golf. This might be something that we look back 50 to 100 years from now and point and say that was a very dumb decision. I can't believe they did that. And that was aligning themselves with the PDGA. I think this was an absolutely idiotic move. The PDGA has proven year after year, and I'm taking this also from like multiple people that have been members, not just, you know, I've only been a member for a handful of years, you know, five years, or I guess, yeah, five years now. But there's people that I say have been members for decades and nothing has changed. I thought when they had a chance to say, you know what, we're going to go our own route. We're going to come up with our own rules. We're going to set things our own way and go for our own thing. I thought they had a chance to do that at a certain point and they decided, no, we're putting all of our eggs in the PDGA. I made this tweet. I said, statistics help tell a story. They help drive a narrative and ultimately get people more interested in the sport. The fact that we had all of that last year with UDisc live. And now it seems like we have none of that. We have like the dollar version of that with PDGA. This is a big swing and a miss. Yuli, I, I, I spent a lot of time prepping the show. I spent hours and hours looking up stories, trying to figure out what we're going to talk about. And one of those things I like to go is I like to look at the stats. I like to see what's going on, what's happening, trends. Yeah. We don't have season stats, Yuli. I can't look up how well you've putted this year. It doesn't exist. There's no, there's no way for me to see how well you put it. I would have to go in manually and look up what you did each round and then import that in and then do it myself. This idea that the PDGA or, or the Disc Golf Pro Tour decided to go and work with PDGA when, to be frank, I think UDisc might be the best disc golf company out there. I think they might I, I think they might be the smartest people in in disc golf. The way they run their app, the way they won their business model, the way that they continue to improve. I think they might be the smartest people. And you basically just turned your back on them. And now you went here. You're 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 over, you're basically overselling this thing, saying, we're gonna make this better. It's gonna be better. It's good, and then you underperform. I don't think anyone's happy with what we're getting this year. And no one on commentary is going to say it. You guys on Jomez have kind of alluded to it multiple times without blatantly calling out of like, we don't have statistics. There's not really not much for us to lean on. Um, I, the one thing that they're saying that they changed was now they can say like the putt was from 21 feet instead of 15 to 20 feet or fit whatever the range was for you disc. Again, those people are all just guessing. So that's a, that doesn't really actually give us much better statistics because these people are all guessing. A lot of those stats are way off, by the way. And, you know, I pulled up this. Someone just tweeted me this as well. They said, even when they get posted, they won't be correct. Everyone this weekend got a settle stat nerf all four rounds. Yuli, they were doing 19 fairways. Last time I checked, real quick, I know I've been off this podcast. Last time I checked, we play, we play 18 holes. How are you how are you hitting 19 fairways on 18 holes? Par 5. We're count, we're counting that? Fairway, fairway. But would it, wouldn't you count that for a par 4 then too? No, cuz you're throwing it into the green kind Okay, of. but you have to count that for Circle a par two, 3 though one. to get to 19. If you're only counting tee shots on par fours and, tee, and the two shots on a par five, you don't get to 19, Yuli. No, but you counted on par three, too, if you're short of circle two. Fairway hit. That's what we're doing? I mean, that's the way that it will work. You're not in the rough if you're just short, if you're out, to, if you're 
65 well, that doesn't feet make any sense. But, but I'm saying you can hit two fairways on a par four then. Y yeah. You can yes. go fairway, fairway. And that would, that would count as two fairway hits. That would increase your, so you Absolutely. could theoretically actually be 21 of 19. I mean, I, I don't know how exactly it works, <laughs> like, but I do know that. Am off I crazy the, right now? Tee, it, <laughs> no, but I'm pretty sure that it it works like that on par fives. I don't know if it works like that on par fours because it's just from the fairway. Now it's going into the green. Like if they put you on the fairway, it's, it's not going to count as a drive, but on a par five, you have to hit the fairway again. That's where you get the, that's where they're getting that from. I almost guarantee it is. Yeah. The par five. It is slight confusing. It is a little confusing there. I would say uh, this is also coming from Chad Smith on Twitter. He says, I've been following the stats quite a bit each round, every tournament. I can say this with quite a bit of certainty. Do not trust them. I can give numerous examples and I have seen from coverage and also from being at Waco live. Now this isn't a shot at PDJ live. This is literally just statistics right now in disc golf. We have volunteers, which we all greatly appreciate going out there and importing the stats, but they are just that volunteers. They aren't paid officials. So you get what you get sometimes. So the, the stats are going to be off, but my big thing is just like, I feel like the disc golf pro tour could have like, there was, there was a time and place where they made a decision to go with the PDGA and now they are they're like locked in with the PDGA. I don't know how they get out of it now because they're so intertwined with them. And I think, I don't think it's going to be a good relationship. You know, I'll join your rant because I'm, I'm mad about it too. Here's the thing. You own a business. You're coming into a season. Your business model is running tournaments, media, best, uh, give everybody the best possible product, right? You make a decision not to have a piece of your product that is one of the best pieces, like you said, you disc one of yep. the best pieces they have. And you say, okay, we're parting ways with you. You don't make a decision like that without a backup plan because automatically your product, if I'm a business owner and I get rid of the, one of the best things that I got, I need to have a backup plan of something to replace it. And it better be comparable. Otherwise the people paying and the people coming in are going to be mad about it. They're going to be like, well, I'm used to this. I'm getting this like it, the, so you guys are getting worse. That's fact. They are getting worse because they pr also said, Hey, we're going to have something for you by, you know, a few tournaments in. Well, I think There's they said Waco. I That's it. I think they said something along the lines of like Waco was going to be it. It's not, and then it's they updated not. it to it's coming. Yep. And so that's, a, that's tough for me because you can't, <laughs> you, you can't. was so and good. You just was so good. Yes. You could sort by well, who's the sad. best it's in sad. this. You could do, uh, you just was so sad. good. Here's, here's what's scary about this, Brody. Here's what's scary. If you look at a business model like that and they're not afraid to do it again, man, then they could do it with something else. Yeah. They could get rid of something, something really else. good. They're going to yes. be like, oh, this is really good. No, we're going to go a completely different way. And I because get, that's the kind of business that you are. I get what they're trying to do. They want to own the statistics to where they eventually, if, if, you know, um, if someone wants to come in DraftKings, some sort of, you know, uh, gambling company wants to come in and, and pay for those statistics or an ESPN, they want to own that so they can sell the rights to it. But the problem is, is like, they're trying, it just seems like right now, like they're trying to do so much stuff. Like they're trying to just take over. And I get this sense a little bit with disc golf pro tour, a little bit of where they're trying to do everything. And by trying to do everything, they make everything like worse than just like trying to make one product really good. I, I, I just kind of get that maybe vibe hands, a little bit. Maybe their hands are tied because we don't know. We don't know the contracts going between them and the PDJ, them and UDIS, and the personal relationship between the two and between all three of them. We have no clue. It's all speculation. But the speculation that I'm having is this. You were better last year. That's not good. Yeah. And you're, and you're charging more this year. Uh, by the way, Edwin Stats wants to let you know, Yuli 2024 C1X putting is 95.3%. Very nice there, Yuli. 
Very nice. Um, I've always say, you know, let people know like low expectations and then overperform. Like have them coming in saying like, hey, tour life, we don't know if you're going to be able to see us. We might be blurry. Our guests might be robotic. Silas might not be here and the show will just completely fall apart. You don't know what you're going to get. So that way when you're coming in, you have very low expectations and then you over deliver. Guess what? It's a free show. It's a free show. If this show sucks, all we took was your time. That's all we took. Right. And I think going into this season and these past seasons, they come in saying all these out, you know, all these grand things. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And, uh, it just it just doesn't deliver, man. And it doesn't I'm angry deliver. Because if you don't remember, I said I was giving them the benefit of the doubt. I was like, okay, this is gonna be fine. What if it's really good? Blah 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 blah. It makes me feel silly. Yeah. I can't trust the PDGA. I can't do it. Ever since they've been boozled me with the whole stupid driving range at Worlds and they try <laughs> to spin it around and like try to make me look like a bad person because I didn't go through the ranks to get the driving range and lied to my face saying that it's impossible to buy out the driving range. You can't do it. And I just walked in and slid my credit card through the machine and got it in five seconds. Ever since that moment, I, I did not trust the PDGA <laughs> and I, 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 they just, they don't have any of my trust. They really don't. And uh, quite frankly, I wish I wasn't a member. I wish I didn't pay for all those people's memberships that one Christmas. I spent like, probably $500 on memberships that one Christmas for people. I wish I would have just Venmo those people $50 so they could go buy some discs themselves. Because if I didn't have to be a PGGA member to play in the disc golf pro tour, I wouldn't, I, I, I don't like what they're doing. I don't not a fan hand up, not a fan. And if any PGGA people are listening and you want to come on tour life to tell us that we're wrong and all the great stuff you're doing, Open invite. Silas will send you full, a text. Full disclaimer. I'm not on the same boat as, as Brody. I'm just mad about this stupid app. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Now, um, I've been a member for a very, very long time. <laughs> I've seen some great things that they have done. You are coming in five years in, and you've seen some other things that they've done. Um, yeah. The sport wouldn't be here without the PDGA. It was magically be. showing up with extra money after announcing how much the world championship purse is. Hey, and they've done, they, and no one, they've no done. one caring about their posts. So then uh, a day or two later, they magically have more money to put into the purse. There's a lot of weird shady stuff going on over there, Yuli. And I dealt with, I dealt the same thing with the, um, uh, what is it? USA ultimate. USA ultimate, the same thing. You got a lot of people that really like their jobs in this niche sport. And, uh, you know, I doubt the same thing with USA ultimate. And now we're dealing here with the PDGA. 